Hey, how's it going? This is Henry here responding to your request for a quick video on some tips you can use to get more exposure online. So currently I'm on your website for scaleandcontrol.com. I like how you have your logo front and center right here. You can mention some of the products that you work with as well. So onboard waiting system, well, yeah, weighing system, uh, wheel ladder system, skid steer. It's good you have a pro short, like a product pro short as well too. And videos as well too. Good you have to contact us with your phone number. So one thing I'd recommend though too. Um, it's okay, it's good you got a clear call to action download your brochure. So you want to, anytime you have a website, you always have to think to yourself, what's the first action you want the user to take? So in your case, I'm sure you, you want them to download the pro, uh, brochure to see their products. So maybe in the button here, you can say, hey, download our brochure to explore our products. It will give them a clear call to action. And you want to have the ways they can contact you up here too. I mean, it's good you got a clickable phone number at the top, right? But it's usually better to have it at the top left because the user's eyes always start at that top left-hand corner. When they see that phone number, first thing they'll know to call you. And then when they make their way to the right, you always want to have that con contact form so they can reach you via email right above that contact form. You could say something like get a free quote, get a free estimate, whatever it is, or get, get free consultation. And I'm going to show you what happens when you search for loader scales in Phoenix, Arizona, where you are. Here's what happens. You're actually, I see right here, you're actually running an ad for a position on page one. So it's like you're, it's like renting space. It's always good if there's certain keywords that you're not getting that organic search volume from. It's always good to run Google ads for those keywords. And it's kind of like you're rent, it's renting space in a way. It's always better to own the space though. And once we move past that, we get into the map portion of Google. And the top three people get the most traffic. So we got Scale Center of Arizona as well as uh, Southwestern Scale Company Inc., as well as Desert Scales and Weighing Company Equipment. Once we move past that, we get into the uh, organic section. So DesertScales.com is the first uh, site to appear. We're going to take a look into them in a little bit. And then we go down. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're position five, so it's good you were at. You get some traffic right there for your, your contact page. Now, oh, so you got two spots on page one, so it's really good. All right. And now let's check out. Then there are more ads. So we're going to go into some stats about Google search. Hold on. So page one accounts for 91.5% of the search traffic. You see, once you leave page one and hit page two, so there's a significant drop off. If the page is not found on page one, it's going to be much harder to be found on Google. And 47% of the time, somebody conducts a Google search. It is for a serve local service or product of some sort but not all traffic on page one is created equal spot gets a different share so based off this these numbers you're at when your pages were at position five and six so you got 6.1 percent and four and 4.4 percent so you get about ten and a half percent of that uh search traffic the top three spots get the most traffic so two if you got if you were able to get two of those if you were those move up two of those pages move up into the top three, you're, at minimum, you're going to get like over a quarter of the search volume. And on top of that, too, it doesn't even count with the map listings as well, too. You can, the map listings is another stream of traffic. If you have like to, like the top three organic spots as well as a, as a spot in the top three in maps, you're going to have a lot of website visitors coming your way. The more website visitors you'll get will in turn lead to more phone calls and in turn more customer inquiries, and then those will turn into into new cl clients and, and customers. The extra revenue could grow your business even further. Companies with positions on page one add thousands, sometimes tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, even millions of extra dollars per month just by being on page one for a certain keywords. So let's take a look here. This is DesertScales.com. Let's take a look into their site. So they got a clickable phone number. Their website simple like yours too. So you see, they have a little bit of description on here as well, too. So it's always good to have a nice looking website. It's important, but what Google looks for when making a website is content. They look for authoritative content. So like home pages, they want to see at least a thousand words. And then um, the service pages and product pages, you want to have at least 500 words. You want to have as much information as possible about industrial equipment. You want to be the Wikipedia of industrial equipment in Phoenix. So going back here, so even about us, like you have your brochure. So we're going to go right here, skid steer loader scale. 
so it's good you have, you have a request a quote. So it's good you have a lot of information on here too. So that's good. You just want to have as much information as possible. Another way too, you can another possible avenue to add information is a blog. So you can use a blog to write articles about industrial equipment and giving like giving a lot more details about all the subject matter. You just want to have as much information as possible. And while having lots of authoritative content is very essential, just one piece of the puzzle. Another thing needed are backlinks. A backlink is when you put your website link onto another website, but not all backlinks create equal. Some are more powerful than others. Similar to being a kid at school is trying to rise up in popularity. Yeah, you can have great, a kid can have great looks with great personality, but what's the point if they're not getting those votes of confidence? So let's say, for example, azcentral.com wrote an article about your industrial equipment and how great of service you provide, and they had your website link on there and they gave you a follow. Google will see that and be like, oh, azcentral.com likes scale and control.com. We're going to move them up the rankings and you'll find more and more of those popular sites to link up to. If you put your website link onto a new site called Joe's Industrial Resources.com and they gave you a follow, Google would see that and be like, oh, who's Joe's Industrial Resources? And they like um, scale and control. We're going to leave the ranking the way it is. Their opinion doesn't mean much. We're going to go into a tool now called Ahrefs. So here's an overview. So what Ahrefs is, you can actually see how a website search traffic is doing. And here's for you. You have you're at um, you have your headline. You write scale and control Inc. and then scale and control Inc. You want to mention right after that hyphen like industrial products Phoenix Arizona. So think of, think of like what you want somebody to find you for. So it's industrial products and then somebody in Phoenix. So you appear for 638 organic keyword searches and you have over 4,860 backlinks, which is really good. Another good thing too. You're getting traffic already, 126 visitors, and you're make, and you're getting revenue from that traffic. Your traffic's valued at $204, but you're definitely producing more than that from search engine traffic. Let's take a look at some of the keywords you rank for. So let's see, Crane LMI gets searched 40 times a month, keyword density is of zero, and you're at position one. That's really good. So right here, keyword density means it's a little higher the number with keyword density, the harder it is to rank. And right here, you're at your position one right there. So there's a lot of keywords that you are ranking really well for, like front end loader scales is another one. Portable def tanks. Shackle sizes is another one that serves 150 times a month. Let's see loader scales, you're getting some traffic from that too. So yeah, so far you're doing really well, appearing on a lot of keyword searches and you're getting that volume from them. So let's take a look at the backlinks. So if back, you want to be linked up to as many sites that are relevant as possible to what you do. So this includes anything like business, industry, construction in a way too, warehousing, even Phoenix and Arizona. So right here, see a campaign. Let's take a look at some more key, uh, keywords. Some good keywords too. You want to have like your local chamber of commerce is a good one as well. Let's take a look further. Yellow pages is a good, easy one too. Definitely all your social media accounts, like Facebook, Instagram, site stat. Let's see, Crane Network. Oh, that was a that's a good site to be on because that's related to what you do. All right. So now we're going to take a look into Desert Scales. So you see tr their headline: Trusted Scale Services. They mentioned Phoenix, Desert Scales, and weighing equipment. So they're actually not producing as good as you are, though. So you see right here, like they rank for 49 organic keywords and they have 158 backlinks. So with backlinks, it's actually not all about who gets the most backlinks. It's about the, having the most quality backlinks. So that's why I was mentioning before you want to link up to as many sites that are relevant as possible to what you do. But yeah, it's all about the quality. Take a look at some of their keywords like certified weight tickets, Phoenix scales, Phoenix scale, nearest weight scale. Now let's take a look at some of their backlinks. So they're on yellow pages. They have a directory, Dex knows you got one from there. I see this Phoenix, Arizona one. You definitely want to be on that one too. It's right in the map portion of Google. One thing you'll need are citations. A citation is the number of times your business name, phone number, and address are listed across the web. And you want to make sure you have between 50 to 100 plus more citations than your competition. But sometimes having way more citations than your competition won't always leapfrog you in the rankings. But what will help is you keep adding lots of authoritative content to your website as well as getting those backlinks and we're going to go into a tool called a heat map so for your map listing the search whenever somebody's searching for a loader scale in the phoenix area 
your map listing is going to rank differently depending on where the search is being conducted. And right now you're ranking really well in a lot of areas of Phoenix. You see you're in a lot, there's a lot of green spots, so like the one through three, that's where you want to be. So right by Glendale, Peoria, in the north part of Phoenix, you're, there's a lot of green, which is great. So as I was mentioning too, so like adding authoritative content will help to turn those yellows into green those strong relevant backlinks even adding location pages too helps like you can do one for glendale surprise Peora, phoenix scottsdale tempe mesa gilbert chandler as well too that's not one thing even if you're on your google map listing you want to make sure you have all the descriptions filled out that they look for so that includes like the logo 500 word description about what you do your product services your hours you want to have as much information as possible on there also another thing too you can do whatever you can make sure you have a lot of photos in your map listing too and make, you can actually geotag them too with geotag coordinates it kind of tells google it's like hey you serve these areas so you could take like 30 or so old photos upload them to the internet and put geotag coordinates on it so it could be like right here in tempe scottsdale glendale wherever you see a yellow spot you can put the geotag coordinates wherever that is and then obviously too, getting more citations helps. Another thing that helps too is getting more reviews to your Google page. Like the more five-star reviews you have, the better. So after somebody buys a product from you or visits your store, you can say like, hey, were you satisfied with our services and our products? If so, can you please leave us a five-star review on Google? And that should help if you get 30 or plus five-star reviews, like Google will want to expose you in a lot of different areas. It's like, hey, this guy's getting so many rave reviews, we have to expose him. And he's doing everything else right. He has a great website with great content. He has strong backlinks, all these location pages. The map listing is completely optimized and they have all these citations. We're gonna have to like spread the word out. So I hope this was helpful. I look forward to hearing your feedback. Thank you.